Hello, everybody, and welcome to a spooky, <laughs> spooky episode of Worst Games <laughs> Ever. My name is Spooky Peter. And my name is Spooky Ben. Oh, how spooky. Now, it's kind of, it seems, might seem a bit early for the spookies, given that, you know, roughly the next episode kind of lines up with Halloween. Mm. Except it doesn't really, because unless you're a patron and getting this... Two days early mm. on patreon.com forward slash team triple jump. The next episode will actually be going out after Halloween. So this is like the main Halloween episode we're doing. This is it. This is it. It's not like we're we're Roman emperors or something, Peter. We can't just move the dates around no. based on how we feel. You know, we can't just have Pete Tober or something. Actually we could. Do you want to do Pete Tober? Pete Tober, yeah. We can't just make our own calendar, the um the Potorian calendar. Yes. Yeah, you you fall back and you triple jump forwards, right? Yeah, uh, that's it. Yeah, that's how you work out the leap years. Fall back. Fall back westward. <laughs> uh, this is Worst Games Ever, the spooky show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. Mm. This week, uh, I have to play the terrible video game, which makes me the victim. And what a spooky victim you are. And that means, Peter, as I have selected the video game and brought along science facts to learn from as we play, I am the... Did we, are we just putting spooky in front? I am the spooky games master. Oh. What spooky game will I be playing today, spooky games master? You... Spooky Pete are playing mm -hmm. Resident Evil Survivor. Oh, okay. Ah. Resident Evil Survivor. Survivor. I hope it does that when we start. Well, I mean, I wouldn't hold out much hope. It's it's being featured on worse games, and that <laughs> yeah. would at least get it seventy percent. Yeah, probably. Well, that's it, isn't it? Unfortunately, that's how it goes. Okay. Well, um, I'm I'm ready to jump straight into Spooks. All right, go on in. All right, let's do it. Fine. Whiff. Oh, 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 oh my god, oh, what is it? Oh, oh it's Capcom. That's so it is actually, you know, there was a good chance this being a worst games ever that they somehow like lent out the license and it wasn't even by Capcom, but it is. No, it's them. Oh, you can, you enjoy, can enjoy very realistic, very realistic sound. sound. Oh, very, by, by using stereo headphones. Okay, sure. Oh, wow, look, that's the main character. The gun. Gun, yes. It's I love gun from Resident. Oh no, it didn't say it. Oh, I pressed start and he didn't say it. It did do the old, the the PS One Resident Evil bloop though. Oh, so. did I didn't hear the bloop? There it is. Oh yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Oh, adjust the brightness. Oh no. Go on, adjust the brightness. Oh, there's no skate. It's not an in-game thing. You have to just look at this screen and then adjust your own monitor's brightness. Yeah, this is for the old CRT set that you're playing on, obviously. Yeah, of course. Would you like a science fact? Yes, please, science me. Resident Evil Survivor is a light gun shooter video game developed by Toes and published by Feet. <laughs> and published by Capcom. It was released on the PlayStation in Europe on March the 31st, 2000. It is a spin-off to the Resident Evil video game series. Thank you, Wikipedia. Thank you, Wikipedia. Okay, there's, it's got one last chance to say Resident Evil Survivor when we press yeah. new game here. You ready? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, well, <laughs> normal or easy? Uh, easy. Okay. Resident <gasps> Evil Survivor. Hey, oh. sort of. Wrong guy, but it kind wasn't of. The guy was it? It was like no. It was just someone from Toes. Jim from Capcom. A disaster struck the quiet Midwestern residents of Raccoon City. Hello, did it? An uncontrollable outbreak of the Umbrella created. Oh, this is a bit too close to home. At least it's not the, the Umbrella C virus. That would be a lot worse. No, no, that would be worse. To stop the outbreak from spreading, Umbrella Incorporated was forced to 
wipe out the entire city. This man loves his job. He does, yeah. This was not the only location where an outbreak occurred. Oh. Oh no. Your mother's house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, an outbreak oh. of a good evening together. <laughs> oh no, is this the petrol station? Oh, Os. Oh, it's not running very well. Oh, why is it so hazy? Look at the sort of motion blur going on. Ostrich beer. Oh. Oh no, the ostrich beer van. Be in the chat for. The oh, who's that hanging out under the helicopter? Why is it making the sound of a jet? <laughs> What's going on? You're not going to get away. <laughs> what? Oh no, here he comes. <laughs> he just she just did he just shoot it until it blew up? He may have done, yeah. And now it's gonna Oh for oh, God's no. sake. It's a comedy. <laughs> Whoa! In Resident Evil Survivor, you play the role of Rowan Atkinson. <laughs> Are you ready to be inside this man? Yeah, the ghost inside this man who just jumped out of a helicopter. Oh, he's okay. My head aches and I can't remember anything. No. My only hope is this gun. Yes, it's the main character gun. I must remember, I must survive. I must Resident Evil Survivor. <laughs> Where? Where am I? Oh. I don't have control yet. This is just uh, him. Oh! I... I don't remember anything. It's, didn't he just say this? Who am I? Yeah, he did. He did. Oh! Okay, we're in. We're in. You're off. I can't look up. Or is it going to be a shoulder button or something? No, I just can't look up. No, no looking up. You don't need to look up. What are you talking no. about? Uh, Spooky Bewip, as the first release of the Gun Survivor series, <laughs> this game was a major dip. Was a major difference, it says, from the main Resident Evil series, substituting the third-person perspective of the previous games to a first-person view. The Japanese and European versions of the game were compatible with Namco's GunCon slash GCon 45 light gun, making it one of the first off-rail light gun games. Whereas the light gun compatibility was removed from the North American release due to, a sh due to shooting games being partly blamed for the motivation of the then recent Columbine High School massacre. Oh Jesus, okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Right through this door, we're immediately in a resi loading screen. That's oh, it. Here it is. Through we go. A classic. Boo. 3D door opening. Right. Have you worked out how to aim yet? I believe there's a button you can I, press. From, I did see a crosshair come up earlier, yeah. Uh, R1. Oh, oh, oh. I did not expect it to do that. Is this good? Does it feel good? No. Does that feel good? No. <laughs> So you use the D-pad to turn left and right and forwards yeah. and backwards. It's tank controls. Mm -hmm. And then if you hit R1, this crosshair comes up. But this is me walking forwards and and, and uh, pressing R1. Are you ready? Okay. Okay, I see. So you so, can't do both. It's it's They've distilled the terrible, the, the notoriously terrible Resident Evil controls into an even worse first-person mode. <laughs> yeah, they have. They were like, oh, the people don't like these fixed camera angles. Let's make it first-person. Oh, but this is what you have to do. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. God. Oh, oh, my God. It's a survival horror game. I'm going to need that bullet. What a waste. This is a warning shot. This is the man who was on the helicopter. Hmm. You look familiar, but... Oh, his shovel hands. Oh. They're bigger than his head. <laughs> My brain is so empty because of because of my accident. Mark Thompson, huh? I know that this was no way for anyone to die. <laughs> what? The voice acting is so good. What? Get him. Okay. Oh, expert. Oh no, he's still going. Oh, there's a weird sort of depending on whether there's a zombie on the floor. The camera like pans. Th I still can't pan up or down, but it was doing it by itself there oh, because the no. zombie had gone down on the ground. Oh, and that as well. It's all automatic. Rusted key. Rusted so key. it's it's not on rails, but it it sort of is on rails. Mm, yeah. Is that was that what the? Oh yeah. <laughs> Condition fine. Feeling fine. Wow, that's a relief. Oh, I didn't choose to. I didn't press anything. I just walked up to the door. 
and now I'm forced to go through here. So I hope those other Wee. other doors weren't like optional offshoots because Nah, oh. it'll be fun. Oh hello, we got music. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Billy? Sounds like, it sounds like Billy. Oh look at him come. Oh wow, it's, it's he's going. It's coming. And there's so many frames in that animation, aren't there? Really? It's just yeah. Be of... careful. He's really picking up speed. Is he dead? Oh, well, the floor's oh, a little. The floor changes. He's dancing to the music. Oh, he is. Look, having a great time. What a funk soul, funk soul brother. Check it out now. Well, it looks like you have unlimited ammo, which is nice. Uh, good. You know that classic it... survival horror trope: unlimited yeah. ammo. Oh, they're both doing it. Are they just going to do that forever now? Is this one doing it? Yeah, he is. Yeah, they are. They're just having a little jig. They used to occasionally do that in, in survival horror video games, but not for long. Did they? Yeah, they sort of twitch around a little bit. Um, and I never really worked out whether it was a sort of a slightly glitchy thing or if it was meant to be sort of, you know, nerve endings going in their, in their death throes. Yeah. Are they finally stopped? They shouldn't be twitching for that long. Let's check the bodies. No, they're already dead, so there shouldn't be anything too twitch, full stop. Cowboy hat. Oh, cowboy hat. And blue horrible hotel. Blue hobnob hotel. Yeah, the blue hobnob hotel. Oh, it sounds delicious. Well, I don't Oh, no, I... it sounds like a sequel to that other video. Yeah, it does actually, but I don't know why the hobnobs are blue. No. Um... Nor, nor do I wish to find out, thank you. No. Oh, this room looks good. Yeah, it does. So what is what is this building we've gone into here, do you think? I a don't hotel? even know. Oh, no, it says umbrella. It's an umbrella theatre. Have we just somehow magically walked into an umbrella facility with a rusty key? Yeah. I mean, honestly, this is something I've always had an issue with. I say issue, it's really not an issue. The Resident Evil games are magical, but it's always baffled me. Like, especially the mansion in the first game, where... What was oh, the... Geez. Oh, my goodness! What was the thought process and discussion that went on between S S Mr. Spencer mm. and the contractor who built the <laughs> the security system. Like, yeah, I want it to be. I want you to need six medallions, mm. but I need you to break the medallions in half. I want you to build a a. Oh, they've all come back to life. I want you to build a uh, a, um, a a suit of armor that's on a that's on like a, a, a sort of a, a train that can go down a particular channel. And it's got a shield with a spike on it that swivels. Yeah. But sir, what if you need to get into the building? I don't care about I if won't I need, need to, to get into the building. I won't need to get into the building. Hey, we're thinking of building the uh, police station in this old um, this old museum building or whatever it was, used to be. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still got all these very strange things in it where like, if you stick coins... Oh my God. If you stick coins inside this statue, it like opens a thing. Could that possibly be a security issue, given that this is a police station? Nah. Nah. Nah, don't worry about it. Nah, nah stop it. Who cares? What do you bet that some crows are going to crash through a window somewhere? I mean, it's there's some foreshadowing happening, isn't there? Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> there's a lot of crows. Are they crows. in that box? <laughs> it appears to be a case for some crows. One of those crow boxes. Oh, wow. The loading screens are really good, aren't they? They're great stuff. The frequency of them. This uh, this poster here I've seen before. It's like the black oh. cat, cat noir thing. Like, it's a, it's a bit of a trendy... Is it? Trendy, huh? But, well, I say trendy, but in the sense that it's like what a lot of basics have. Oh, okay. Live, laugh, love. Did you have that thing at uni where they would... Yeah, a little bit. Did you have that thing at uni where they sold loads of posters in Freshers Week? Yeah. Yeah, Did you buy it's any? one of those. No, I didn't buy it, but this is oh. this is an option. And I used to go to people's like flats for parties and they would have this poster have on the wall. That. Oh, wow. It's just one of those mass-produced yeah. designs. As of 8598, there are no signs of viral leakage oof, mm. in the surrounding area. However, That's part of the Blue Hobnob video, I think. Yes, it is. However, semicolon, we must continue to monitor the area with extreme caution. Our secret operative, our secret operative, Albert Wesker, secret <laughs> operative. It's a secret, don't tell anyone. Is missing in action and is presu presumed dead. Oh, oh uh, there's more. Oh, oh for Christ. goodness sake. How, how much do you want to learn about this? About this game that we're only going to be playing for half an hour. I can give you a synopsis of the plot. That's my next science fact. Sure, hit me. The game takes place after the missile explosion that wiped out the contaminated Raccoon City. 
Not long after this incident, a helicopter crashes on the outskirts of Umbrella Corporation's private township, located on Sheena Island. Right. So, Umbrella Corporation's private township. Okay. Oh. Why didn't they do the tests there, for God's I, sake? I don't know. The pilot escapes the burning wreckage, only to find himself fighting a battle against the living dead, with no memory of his identity or his reasons for being there. Oh, you're right now. Yeah, I kept pressing X by accident. This is a used projector. There is no film in it. Yeah, it's not a new one. Any spooky right. boys? Oh! Oh! I've forgotten how to aim. I had to ask, didn't I? Oh, you're still fine. Oh, he's okay. Yeah. Is he going to get up? Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Yeah. This is broken editing equipment. Hmm. <laughs> It's like being at uh, Coltonic Towers, isn't it? <laughs> uh, what are you talking about? Our equipment's yeah, fantastic. It's all very good equipment. Oh, but look, it's another one of those posters. I love these flat plates. Oh, yeah, they've been to the uni... They've been to the uni thing. Poster fair. Oh, we've got a film. 35 Mumma film. Mumma. What's on the 35 Mumma film? Let's stick it in the thing. There we go. The film bars are up. We're watching our film. Do we have to go downstairs to see it? Oh. Yeah, I think we might do, because it's not going to show us here, is it? No, we've got to go down to that umbrella screen. Squeebs, are you ready for crows? Oh, there they are, oh. the crows. Oh, oh such horror. Oh, oh they are actually oh. going to kill me. Yeah, they're definitely flying. Oh, my God, what is this angle now? What is how happening? I, how do I attack the crow? I can't look up. Neither can dogs. Are you sure you're not a dog? Does it make a chimpanzee noise? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> That's it. Just fire at, at William. There's well done. Slight, oh. There's a slight element of like auto lock. Oh, oh geez. God, they're zombie crows. Where the flip? Okay, music stopped, which means you're safe. Yeah. You're still fine. Still fine. They were just birds. Mm, just birds, guys. Calm down. This is a secret film for only Umbrella employees. Don't tell anyone about Albert Wesker what is on it. Oh. Oh, there's something oh, down there now. can't move now. I'm watching the film. There's a, a, a key. A key happened for some reason. Yeah, strange. Oh look. We're watching a film about some germs and stuff. Some oh, germs. This is what happens it. when you don't wash your hands before you eat it at McDonald's. Yeah, wash your hands for 20 seconds, everyone. Otherwise, this will happen. This is happening mm. right now. Yeah. Remember to sing Happy Birthday twice, um, <sighs> and also pick up. Rusty keys. Theatre key. Are we not? Oh, look how 2D it goes on the no, side. Wow, it, it vanishes. It do. How do I... Oh, square is go back. Okay, oh, of, of course, course it is. Yeah, no, naturally. A theatre Where are we going? There we hey! go. In we go. Beep, beep. The player takes control of an amnesiac protagonist struggling desperately against overwhelming odds to stay alive and uncover his identity. Oh, dogs. Down, boy. Uncover his identity. Survivor's gameplay is a combination of first-person shooter and arcade-style light gun game. The player views the environment from the perspective of the character, first-person view, and moves the character through the environment with the controller. This At the same time, ben. what is happening there? <laughs> this dog is looping his death animation. I don't think this is meant to happen. Are we, can we be certain that this is an emulator issue, though? It's a weird emulator issue, though. Like, normally emulator is very... It's either audio or visual in the sense of, like, rendering, rather than, like, making things loop their animations. But I have a know. feeling this might just be the game. Yeah. Oh, poor boy. <laughs> Truly the spookiest of zombie dogs. That is a... Uh... Oh. Oh, you okay? Can you hear oh. that phone? I hear that phone. It's like GTA. Am I going to get a mission now? Let's go bowling. Oh, for God's sake. B. The phone hang up. Oh, no. Someone hung up. someone hung up the phone. Uh, by the phone, there was a footpath down, was there not? Oh, was there? I think so. Oh, good. The canal towpath. Maybe we'll see a big zombie horse. Yeah. Oh, oh, what oh is... it's a liquor now. Oh, okay. They're just throwing it. Oh, don't like the way it moves. Oh, they're stuck on each other. Yeah, I like the way it doesn't move. Oh! Oh, they're really upsettingly animated, aren't they? Yeah. Are you meant to kill these? I think so. Oh, Can they one. hurt me from behind, or does the games think that's not fair and therefore I'm invincible? Boom, 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 boom! Oh, there was something do on the bench. I do actually think he didn't... I do think he didn't really move uh, when I wasn't looking, which was good. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. You did it. 
Wow, okay. They really are just going to throw all of the enemies at you in this game, aren't they? One street after another. They are, yeah, just different varieties. I'm still fine, though. Yeah. What is that? A cracked key. Brilliant. Okay. Guess how fast Smoke the Beat beat Resident <laughs> Evil Survivor. I think he absolutely smoked it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you can't move very fast, but I suspect you don't really have to kill almost any Anything. of the enemies. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and they don't appear to hurt you very much, even if they sort of get you on your way past, so... Vincent. Oh. Vincent! Who is this? Vincent? Who is this? Who's that? <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Wait, who's that? Am I Vincent? Am I <laughs> Vincent? You are a murderer. A murderer. A murderer? Oh my god. What are you talking about? Answer me. Who did I kill? Oh, that's some... So much intrigue that's and mystery. That's top-notch acting there. Mm. Who did fan. I kill? Uh, I think they... Answer me! ...completed this in... 38 minutes. Oh my god. That's where you came from. 37 minutes and 6 seconds is the record for the speedrun of this game. How many? 36? 37 minutes. 37? God, I was so seconds. close. You were. Wow. What's that club called? No, you can't even see it. It's too too high up. Oh, let's find out. <laughs> oh, for God's you sake. walk backwards all the way down the road. Yeah. Oh, in... Entra... Entrepot. Amusement club. Entrepot. Entrepot. Well, I want to go into the Entrepot. Club. Do you want some Entrepot? We've used oh, the Oh, there we key. go. Let's get in there. Oh. Wee, 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 wee. Hello? I love the reflected sky texture there. Oh, oh no. see that's like, <laughs> that was meant to be a, an interesting angle, but it just looked like they were going up the ropes, it upside did. down. They look like spooky spiders. Remember your mission. Sorry? We're doing a clean sweep of the area. Everyone and everything must be cleansed. Now move out! Their hands are ridiculous. <laughs> look at that sky. What is, what's wrong with it? It's like a Rorschach. What's wrong with it? Hard drive. Oh, can we play that game instead? Uh-oh. Do you think there's a zombie game in here? That would be fun. What just killed the- oh. Humans! Oh, he did oh a, he's got action. action. Oh, oh no, he's he rolling. keeps- he's playing Dark Souls. He won't stop, stop rolling. Oh no, he's got- he emits- what? Is he a balloon? Sorry, there's so much to process there. <laughs> he did loads of rolls. He died in one shot and then he went- Okay. And then just squashed into <laughs> clearly, clearly an inflatable soldier, Bobby Stabaloni. Yes, of course. Dino Crisis. Dino Crisis. Where? On your right poster. Oh, wow. Yeah. Bing Crisis. Oh no, not Ding Price Crisis. A little ad for their own game there. In well, it's a little bit of foreshadowing because Bew Whip. Yeah. The Gun Survivor series was followed by three sequels, which were were, 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 were released for the PlayStation 2 and utilized the G-Con 2 peripheral. Resident Evil, this is a terrible name, Resident Evil Survivor 2 Code Veronica was released for the PlayStation 2 in 2002 based on the characters and enemies of Resident Evil Code Veronica. Mm. Dino Stalker, a spin-off of the Dino Crisis series was also released in 2002. A fourth game, Resident Evil Dead Aim, was released in 2003. Oh, okay. So there were a few of these games. Yeah, there's a missing person there. Oh god, well we'll never find them. No, uh, that's Cowboy Hat again, but Cowboy even hat. more compressed. Cowboy Hat. Let's speed run, let's see how far we can get. Yeah, okay. Yeah, screw all the enemies, let's just run. Oh my god, third person. <gasps> Balloon boys. Their proportions what? look like gorillas. What the? What are they making? Why are they making cougar noises? Wow. Wow. Well, who's that? Die, Vincent. Die. <laughs> Whoa. He dodged all of those. He Vincent. really did. He's got the reactions. Oh, this is so rubbish, isn't it? Oh. Hello? Oh. 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 Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's really, really rubbish. Can't get enough of these these door uh, animations. Oh, oh! Kill the cougars! Wow! <laughs> this makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. Oh, a crowbar! The manhole opener. 
<laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. All right. This umbrella security force is just elite. Welcome to the Entrepot, where we're going round. Uh, down the stairs. Yeah. Let's see what's. Oh, oh yeah, of course. That's a loading screen. Mm. Well, we've got to go through another bloody loading screen, haven't we? Right. Would you like some reviews, Peter? Oh yes, please. This. Oh my god, he's got an automatic weapon. I... Why are they? Why are they so top heavy? You're right. It's so know. strange. Maybe they're not human. Maybe they are like umbrella gorilla boys. Um, they bred cougars with gorillas and balloons. What's through here? Why does the door creak after it's opened? It's so silly. Oh, we oh, get to use the manhole, manhole opener. Oh, a new gun. Handgunk. Hand handgunk. Resident Evil Survivor received mostly unfavorable reviews. Oh my god. Clang! <laughs> so it's not on Metacritic, it's not on uh, game rankings, but it it does have a number of, rev of reviews listed on Wikipedia. So what do you think the average of reviews on Wikipedia is? Um, if it's mostly unfavorable, let's say 45%. 35%. Oh, okay. Of those uh, is, is the average of the reviews listed on Wikipedia. The highest review was what? Mm, uh, six, no, not quite 60. 57%. 50%. Okay. And that comes from Edge magazine. Uh, according to the, the write-up on Wikipedia, they praised the well-rendered 3D environments, but criticised the long loading screens between opening and closing doors. Yeah. The magazine concluded that Survivor is best suited to the rental market, describing it as more of a cash-in than a knockout. Right, okay. I mean, it kind of is, isn't it, really? They're just yeah. making more of something that was already popular. I looked this guy up, by the way, to try and find more information on him, this guy you're playing as. Mm. There's nothing. I don't think he... He is... As the game progresses, it turns out he's a friend of Leon. Right. No. Oh, this is me. This is me. I am Vincent. It was all my fault. <laughs> yeah. Who are you? Oh, my God. Wait. Please don't kill me. The animation. Uh, kill him. I didn't know anything about you then. What accent is that? Stop. Oh my god, this is so... It's really bad, isn't it? Like, especially bad. Even even when the bar currently, at this point in the game's life, or the series' mm. life, the, the bar was set at, Thanks for saving my life. Yeah. You were almost a chill sandwich. You know, and this is just another level of bad. Oh, it's just so stilted and weird and... Oh, I don't know. I it just... is. I don't like it. it oh, oh, oh it's a liquor. I think you have to wait for them to jump. Because two shots in the air will knock them down. Oh, caution! Finally, on <gasps> caution. Oh my goodness me! Let's see if we can die by the end. Is that oh, yeah, going through be... his death animation on loop? No, it's not. No, he's fine. Uh, so yeah, Edge gave it fifty percent. The lowest review came from Next Generation. What did they give it? Um, clang. Clang! 21. Oh, you had it right the first time. Oh. 20. What does that sign say? Raradice. Raradice. <laughs> that doesn't look great, does it? Paradise. Mm. Uh, yeah, 20%. The RE universe could definitely inspire a great gun game, but with bad technology, unforgivable control limitations, and an uncanny lack of fun, this non-gun game definitely isn't it. Oh, look at him do a little... He's doing Is he Douglasing? The... I think he might be doing the Douglas. Could he teach me how to Douglas? No, he won't teach you how to Douglas. Okay. Oh, I hit... Oh! Came in behind me. Did he just headbutt you? Yeah. Oh, oh no, he's still alive. Oh, they're jiggling. Emergency only... Administ... Ad no trespassing. Something All visitors. No visitors allowed. Playground. Wait, what? No trespassing. No visitors allowed. Playground. Let's go to the playground. Imprisonment area. Playground. 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 Oh, oh 
We'll go to the office then. Do you think playground has been mistranslated by accident? I think it's supposed to be sort of like the exercise area for the prisoners, but... Yeah, probably. Yeah. The playground. Yeah, the prison playground. Oh, there's someone here. Oh, look, there's a PS4 on the, on the counter <gasps> there. There is a PS4. Look at that. Oh. Oh, hello. Right, ignore that report. No time. There's a key just floating. Some sort of private eyes office based on what's on the hat Yeah, that's stands. a cool hat. Can we wear it, please? Umbrella. No time. No time for the prison chief's diary. Oh, it's the prison chef's diary. Mmm. Made a delicious boeuf bourguignon today. Gotta die fast. Oh, a lasso. Yay. Oh, it's oh, so repetitive Christ. and tedious. I know we've got it on easy mode, but, Even you know, jeez. So. Bloom. Rope. It's time to play some Resident Evil BDSM. Hello. Oh. He was just minding his own. He was looking yeah, at that wall there. Just, he was going to have a snack from the fridge. Right. Um, oh, not even wearing any clothes. Oh, they're wearing some clothes. These ones are really mouldy. Oh, no. We're going to get eaten in the prison. Oh. Hello. We are the prison food. That's what the prison cheat at Chef. Cheat. Cooks. Us. His neck has been cut open by a sharp blade. Oh, my goodness. His neck has been cut open. Cut, what does that mean? Has been cut upon. Young man... There's, There's no, no need, need to write a diary. A minor, minor point of, hey, well done to them that I've got to give them is the way they've baked in these shadows. Yeah, it's the clever. Floor. That is clever. It's clever. Nicely done. And that's the only positive. And I that, can the give. end. Do you want to go through the door at the end and then get murdered? I was going to say, like, I would, I would play a little bit more of this if I didn't have to go through all of these loading doors constantly. And I know I'm, I know this doesn't really, like, it's not unique to this game. Like, all of the early Resi games had this, but... Oh, like, like, look at this. I've come yeah. through there. Oh, there is actually... Is there a corridor around there? No. Yeah, there's stairs going down. So, yeah, the, all that was was a corridor with four exits in it. Fantastic. Right, oh. Oh! Oh, wow, a spooky thing happened. Come get us, boys. Oh, look at them all in single file. <laughs> Are you going to let them eat you? Yeah, okay, let's do that. Walk at them, menacingly. Moo! Oh, he dies. I think I fight fight them off and they die. I'm not even pressing. Oh no, anything. they're back up. Maybe you push them away. Danger! Yeah, I think it automatically pushes them away. Still, still in danger. Oh, oh, oh that's a bit. Oh, oh no, not how I wanted to die. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably the one of the less scary you died screens that I've seen in a Resi game. Oh, I just like the ripple effect there. Yeah, no, really good. That's top-notch mm. stuff. Okay, it looks like it's just going to keep doing that forever. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. This is That was terrible. Is, oh, no, look, look, we got another screen. No, we don't want to continue. continue. I'm going to let it count down. Look, again, uh, main character, Gun. Yeah, there he is, Gun, the, the titular Gun himself. Yep. That's the guy. Uh, consider posting this on the uh, National Rifle Association subreddit mm. because they love guns there. They do, and they'd love this. Mm. Really, really good. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, everybody. We'll be back in a couple of weeks' time. We hope you enjoy a safe and socially distanced Halloween. Yeah. All right, then. Catch you later. Bye. Bye-bye.